we just got what I would describe as the pinnacle of Fallout 4 survival experiences. A way to experience Fallout 4 where you are truly scared of what else is out there and are actually fighting to survive. And what I'm talking about today is something that some of you may already be familiar with, that with Frost Survival Simulator. And although this is a mod that I'm sure many of you have heard of at one point, what you may have not heard of are some of the recent updates and improvements that have been coming to this mod, as well as just kind of this broader expansion project around it. The community and other modders in particular have actually taken over this project and started adding new things to it, fixing a bunch of the older issues, like those performance issues are largely gone, thank god, but also things like new locations, new interactions, and even just different ways to begin the game. If you played Frost in the past, especially during its heyday back in 2017 and 2018, it's definitely time to give another go. And actually in this video, later in this video, I think I have the perfect way to give this another go. Just let go. It'll all be over soon. It's just... nuclear war? Really? Could that actually happen? You think? <sighs> If you've never heard of Frost, it's a total overhaul for Fallout 4, and this is probably more true than any other total overhaul for this game. It's going to strip out all of the old quests, story, and the vast majority of the old characters. All of that content from Fallout 4 is gone now, as Frost is going to take place just years after the bombs dropped, and you find the Commonwealth overtaken by a nuclear winter, and varying groups fighting to survive. Some of these groups are going to be pretty familiar, like the Enclave Allegiant Army remnants holding outposts, or even some of the generic raiders are still here all throughout the world, but there's also going to be a bunch of new factions, some of which you can actually join, like the Metro Federation, and a ton of other ghouls and creatures that will inhabit this world, and even when it comes to new factions, many will just fire on you on sight. Even though there's technically eight new factions here, the vast majority of these, you're only going to find out about them after you clear through their outpost or die to them and then read some of the lore around them. Society has completely collapsed in this world, and things are very dangerous. Your role in this world is actually pretty simple, survive. On one hand, you have the familiar Fallout 4 survival elements, so you have to sleep, eat, and drink, but Frost also does change up things like having different bandages and other ways to heal yourself and repair your body after fights or combat. But in beyond that, one of the other core aspects of Frost is you really are meant to be a nobody. You're just somebody who got caught up in the apocalypse and you're not really prepared for this new world. And thanks to some of the updates with the Frost Plus mod, you can now pick from several different starting locations, each one placing you in a slightly different scenario with a bit of a story to go along with it. And of course, some initial supplies, but there's not much and you'll be scavenging almost immediately. Although before I show you one of the coolest new features added in by Frost, you probably don't want to scavenge for food in real life, right? But with that in mind, I have to show you today's video sponsor with Factor. I feel like this is literally the perfect sponsorship for my audience. Factor's going to offer you ready-made meals delivered right to your doorstep. These are literally chef-created meals that are never frozen. That's an important part. And they're designed by dietitians to actually have some nutritional value. You see, for me, 95% of the time, I eat unhealthy because I'm just way too lazy to cook something. The likelihood of me going to the store, buying cauliflower, and then actually cooking it is pretty close to zero. But when you have a full meal with vegetables just sitting in your fridge, ready to eat by just a couple of minutes in the microwave, it definitely makes things a lot easier. And with Factor, I found myself just eating way healthier and actually eating vegetables. And I gotta say, they were actually better than I thought they would be. Factor will help you save time and eliminate stress. The meals are designed to be ready in under two minutes, and you don't even need to use a plate if you don't want to. And there is something for just about everybody. They preference choices like keto or vegan, and over 27 meal options each week. And if you want something even a bit quicker to not get your hands dirty while playing a game, they have these pretty amazing smoothies also. So don't wait and get fed today. Use my link and go to go.factor75.com and use code POGJUICE130 for $130 off across six boxes. I mean, you're literally saving $130. That's pretty awesome. And the description of this video will be live updated as you guys use my code and sign up. But looking back at Frost, it really embodies that idea that you are a nobody in this world. You aren't a trained soldier. You'll discover pretty quickly that without the right perks, weapons are going to be very inaccurate. You need to learn to use these before you become proficient, and otherwise you're not really going to be much better than some random raider. Even further, sanity is a constant factor. This is a value you assigned to your character will be changing dependent on your decisions and actions. The apocalypse happened, and losing your sanity is a genuine threat. 
So if you do things like take out hordes of humans, it'll of course lower your sanity. Same with eating mystery meat or irradiated food. But you can offset this with chems or other positive choices in the world to maintain your sanity. And some of the expansion mods like Frost Plus will even give you different variants on certain encounters depending on where your sanity does fall. And if you let this fall too low, you'll have a bit of a different experience. You'll notice changes like extreme paranoia making you harder to detect while sneaking, but also accuracy will decline rapidly as well as charisma and intelligence intelligence will plummet on your character. One of the other cool benefits around creating a character with this is with Frost Plus, you can actually play as a ghoul if you want to, with certain pros and cons to that. And surviving is really just a huge part of this mod, a huge part of what the gameplay will be in Fallout 4 with Frost. Most damage will nearly instantly kill you. Dealing with carry weight is a major component here, and you will be afraid. That's one of the biggest parts. A simple action like clearing out an enemy outpost in Fallout 4 is an entirely different experience with Frost because because basically anything could take you out, one stray round from an enemy you missed will be the end of you. That's why it's highly recommended to actually play with using a save mod, even though the rest of this is based on survival mode. You're gonna have to play slowly and carefully, and oftentimes you may just choose not to engage a bunch of enemies because it's not worth the risk. Something like a death claw off in the distance is a genuinely terrifying sight. But conversely, finding something like an outpost with a bed that is completely abandoned and it doesn't actually require a fight to loot it feels amazing now. Some of the simplest things in Fallout 4 are so much more rewarding in Frost because of how difficult an experience it can be at times. Like just having a warm, safe bed to sleep in and a few bottles to fill with water is genuinely exciting here. Some of the add-on mods actually also add in a variety of new Frost perks. Many of these around sanity and it will impact your character based on where your sanity level does fall, so if you want to play into having lower sanity or higher sanity, but there's also overhauls to other game elements in addition to that. Survival is a core component here, and you'll now actually need perks to loot meat from animals or to build proper camping gear. Like I mentioned earlier, you're meant to go into this world as a nobody. You have to train yourself effectively over time to figure out how to survive. You're going to be crafting way more often. That becomes a huge component of this game, and even something like charisma is actually incredibly valuable. Although the core component of Frost is literally just to survive and making some of the encounters truly memorable as a result of what could happen, this also does serve to have some of the other gameplay elements of Fallout 4 become a lot more interesting. You'll very likely build up some settlements with this mod and be very happy about doing that. A place to get some basic resources and to actually feel safe, potentially with some other settlers or defenses around you. Trading is incredibly valuable. Charisma can be one of the best builds with this mod. Charisma allows you to open certain doors with certain characters and sometimes literally just get through a certain door. And trading items for caps is a great way to get a head start. Things like ammo or even other basic resources are incredibly rare and incredibly expensive, so building up caps can make it so you are actually decently equipped in this world. Otherwise, a lot of the time, you might be dealing with just having 10 bullets, and that's it. And it's not like you could just rely on VAT, so you have to really try to land those headshots. Through this, you will locate some of these settlements that are already built up by other survivors, and there aren't many. It's actually pretty rare, and it feels pretty special to go to these places. Some of the mods like Frost Plus will add in new and unique encounters in some of these locations, and in general, there's just a lot of lore to uncover in this world. And overall, this is one of those things where, although it's not really focused on doing questing or the story as much, there is still a story, and there is still lore here, and even some quests for you to do, but it's not as directed or hand-holded as Fallout 4, it's more freeform. And that's really the core of this mod overall, and I feel like it's less so about describing all of the features, and more so about experiencing this. It's going to throw you into a completely changed and different Fallout 4, where you're going to do crazy things or take crazy risks to try and survive. And there's a big emphasis on that attempt to survive, because you're going to die a lot in this mod. Like, I probably died over a hundred times in the process of filming this video, a lot of times just via trial and error and trying to figure out how to proceed. The core mod combo I'm using here is Frost itself, but also Frost Frost Plus, Frost Official Updates, and Frost Cell Fixes. There are a variety of other core and more recently updated mods to add to this, but it's really awesome to see the community come together and take on Frost, actually bring it updates, bring it bug fixes, and even new features, even though the core mod from that original author hadn't received an update in a while. And as I alluded to a bit earlier in this video, using all of these mods together is a really positive experience, way more polished than it ever was before, and honestly a lot 
lot easier to get into, even though the difficulty is part of the core aspects of this. There's a lot more going for you now. A full-fledged wiki to actually get information and tips on how to get started. And speaking of getting started, in the background of this video, I'm actually using these core mods, but also a new mod list. Stay Frosty was just recently released from the Fallout 4 Experiences team, this being a team creating curated mod lists for Fallout 4. So with Wabajack and Nexus Premium, I was able to get this 130 mod load order working with just a few steps from me. Like it was actually very easy, probably about five minutes of input on my side. And this is all going to be based off the below zero modding guide. Stay Frosty is really an adaptation of that to make it into a full auto downloadable mod list. So it's this really cool thing where you have this epic experience in Frost with a ton of different mods all working together seamlessly without the headache of setting it all up. I mean, at this point, they even have ways to import MCM settings. So you didn't have to deal with that part. But if you want to build out the mod list yourself, I'll have a link to the modding guide alternatively down below. And overall, this is just a blast. It really is the ultimate Fallout 4 survival experience. It's really not like any other mod and how all encompassing this is. It really does turn Fallout 4 into a different game using the Commonwealth as a base and really adding a top of it. And even though it may be intimidating or difficult at times, I feel like it's just such a unique and novel experience that I recommend all of you try it out. With that said, if you may be looking for some other mods for Fallout 4, I recently covered some of the best weapon mods to recently come out, including one of my favorite weapon mods ever. As always again though, I thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.